Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. Uh, today we will discuss about computer properties and uh, watch uh, watchers to see any update happening to the you know any attributes or any value and we will try to compare what is the difference between these two. So let's get started uh, in our VUE or uh, JavaScript framework tutorials. So uh, I'm using Visual Studio Code and this is where I just, uh, you know, given the link for UI framework and this, this application JS is written left hand side. You can see my some of the previous tutorial if you just stumble upon this uh, only. And this is my Chrome browser. I am just uh, using a minified version of it. This is the console. All looks black and slim and trim. So you can run in any normal Chrome or Firefox browser. This is just to, you know, uh, uh, do this uh, tutorial inside one page. I have used this kind of configuration. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, here we can create any kind of name. And once we reload the page, so the name will be binded over here using this curly bracket. And we can, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we can use uh, two lower case. So we can use the different function. For example, to lowercase, uppercase, we can do substring and a lot of other things. But usually it is not recommended way to do uh, even bigger manipulation over in the HTML you know, page. So it is always recommended to do any kind of uh, manipulation over in the JavaScript code here. So for that purpose, we have something known as computed property. Computed property concept. So we can define computed. And whichever the name you want to give. For, for this is a simple example I am creating. Let's say I am created a computed property with name lowercase. So we can define a function. So we, we have to return the string this dot name to lowercase. Okay. So this will act as the same variable. So for example, name or you know, uh, instead of uh, lowercase name we can mention. So lowercase seems to be a function, but this makes more sense. Or we can see LC name or whatever maybe it is. So it doesn't matter. So this is a computer property. Okay. So whenever we try to access, this will always return this value, which will immediately change this to lowercase and will return. So for example, we can create a paragraph. So we can use this inside a double curly bracket and we can say lowercase name. Now let me reload this page. See the name. Okay. It is a, you can use this as a variable, but this is nothing but a function which is executed inside, but there is no difference here. Let's say if you want to change this, uh, let's say I create a input model V model. And I have associated with this name. Okay, so I am performing two way data binding. Instead of James, let me change it to Steve. So you can see the way I am typing, this is changing. Also, at the same time, this is also changing. So this lowercase will be executed immediately. This, uh, this dot name is got modified. So this is quite powerful concept to understand. Okay, so you may say that this can be also uh, achieved by using a method. For example, we can uh, define any methods, right? This is in earlier tutorial I already explained. So we can say lowercase. This is, let's say this is method. So, okay. Let me give a comma and it's complaining about that. So here we can be lowercase. Set to curly bracket and here also we'll return the same thing. Return this dot name dot to lowercase. Okay. And here instead of doing that, we can uh, we have to call it as a function notation. So if let's say let me reload it. Okay. So if let's say I'm changing anything, hello. So uh, also in capital letters, so if you see the values in the both the case is exactly the same. So whether you have used computed property or you, you use uh, methods, so the output is the same. So you may be wondering, 
why we should use a computed properties. Let me explain a, uh, this example a little bit slowly. So, if there is any uh, change inside this name, then only this particular computed property will be executed. But whenever they will notice this thing, right? So, uh, let's say you are rendering page several times. If this is changed or any kind of update happened, then only this will be executed. But this function will be, uh, whenever it is used inside any HTML tag, it will be executed irrespective of it. So, even though this dot name is not changed, so this method will be executed and return the execute code. So, this is known as casing. So, we can uh, use for the performance reason. So, once it, it will change, then only it will be updated. Otherwise, it will remain the, it will return the same result. Okay. Also, uh, there is also in, in earlier I have discussed about watch, right? So it is uh, uh, lowercase name. So we can define a, uh, let's say James. This is just for a variable. We can initialize with anything. And we can also ha have something known as watch. So we can keep a watch on the name. If there is a change in the name, so we have to return the value. So uh, this dot lc name is equal to value dot to lowercase. So in this fashion also we can use and we can get this lowercase change. So we are watching the name and we are changing this lowercase. If it is dependent, this particular variable is dependent upon something else. So each time this name is changed, we are getting this value, we are changing to lowercase and then this is a very simple example. But this kind of uh, concept you can apply it in a little bit bigger, you know, scale project as well. So if your variable is dependent upon, let's say, full name is dependent upon name. So you can get this by writing a watch one. If you are in most of other framework, for example, Angular JS, so this is a normal tendency to, you know, uh, change some dependency value by watching something. So for example, let me uh, see that. Uh, P Let's see name. So, LCD name is nothing but a variable. So, it's also came. Let me get rid of this little word for a second. Let me, okay, James. Okay. Let me change something to Steve. So, it is also going there and it is executing all the time. So, instead of uh, using watch uh, and uh, manipulating like in this fashion, so it is always recommended to use uh, computed variables or computer properties to achieve the same result if the computer properties depend upon the other variables. We can access, we can combine multiple property and we can also get, let's say, full name, we can combine uh, two name and get it result. So try to leverage as much as possible about computed properties, which is a little bit better way than this, uh, you know, watching or methods. Uh, it is not something that watch you cannot use, but for example, based upon this value, you are trying to fetch the information from the server or you are doing some exact call. So in that case, uh, this it is recommended to use it. For example, you, you get this uh, data, change email validation you are doing. So somebody is sending input as email thing and you want to validate whether it is already available in the server or not. So that instead of computer properties, you can use watch and you can call the exact service and update the information about here. So that kind of use case, you can still implement that watch, you know, watchers. I think uh, with this, we'll complete uh, this uh, uh, tutorial part and we'll, uh, you know, we'll keep on doing a lot of other tutorials uh, which cover a various part of VUE JavaScript frameworks. So if you like my videos, please like it. And uh, also remember to subscribe it so that whenever I create a new video, you'll get notification over in your homepage. And uh, please help me by spreading this uh, tutorial links over in uh, Twitter or Facebook or anywhere you like. So appreciate you watching till now. So have a great day ahead. Bye bye.